Hi there, this is Alex for DCC Train LLC, Mal Train Store in Cincinnati, Ohio. Today, guys, I want to show you how I'm connecting two different digital systems uh, through their own computer interface and servers built in to the wireless router. Okay, I never connect uh, all those both systems. I'm talking about ESU ECOS and over there, Lens uh, Plus, Digital Plus. Uh, actually, this is set zero one uh, with um, that uh, throttle um, LH100. So the beauty of using wireless router is to connect your uh, mobile devices. Can be small Mac Mini, uh, Android phone, uh, any tablet devices. As soon they, as soon as they. Ha, uh, has a um, having wireless connection and uh, accepting software to operate trains and layout. Okay, so now um, everything going through the wireless router. If you see the port one and port two occupied, the wireless enabled, and uh, means indication it's turned on. I bought that Linksys router maybe three something years ago it it has um, it's open wireless network actually it's there is no ethernet uh, internet means this uh, internet port not not use using I'm just using two f uh, ports here R regular c cables not crossover cables um, again uh, the beauty of the uh, y using wireless uh, your uh, mobile devices you need a wireless router okay here we go so we have connection with the with the uh, wireless router with this Ethernet cable I just got that command station literally put it half hour ago out of the box so that's how it came I started there there is a welcome message then you can disable that welcome message if you don't want it and then now I'm going to the properties of command station and usually it's starting here and you just scrolling to the IP address and that's pretty much it the factory default it said um, to get IP address setting from DHCP and that's what it is 192.168.0.133 okay <clears throat> excuse me now if this is not selected you have to select it and, and DHCP enable in your wireless router if it's brand new from the scratch from the factory you not even worry about it you just need to rename your network so you will be connecting to that particular network and that's it. So I'm not using internet in in what in that wireless router again, uh, and it's uh, open. So any of my guests can can run my trains without any big problem with any wire <coughs> wireless devices. Okay, now time to connect my uh, wireless device, portable wireless device. So we opening application touch cab. And I see right away if I'm here and looks like everything's running but it's not connecting to the ECOS because I see the address 192.168.0200 belongs to that um, lens computer interface but I know the my wireless device connected already to the um, to that wireless uh, router for my trains because there is wireless router for for the store of course I'm not messing with it okay so what we need to do we need to change to address 192.168.0.133 okay and connect and what's going on right now I'm connecting to ECOS and if I press see it's saying go and if I press this button it indicates stop off one more time off 
is now OK and I'm going to turn the power off. Response is unbelievably fast. Like few milliseconds delay. It's more small lag on on just with, with graphical interface. And then I'm going to my cab and I can run my trains and we're going to run that um, my brand new if I select the locomotive actually it, there is no not in the database sorry we're going to run it with uh, with a lens in a second okay now my wireless device again what I did I changed the IP address here And now, from uh, 192.168.0.133 from ECOS command station to 192.168.0.200, which is this computer interface. And I use my big computer uh, to find out exactly what information. But that address, again, is in the manual of, of that USB LAN computer interface. Okay? That's factory default. Now let's, and then I can go to my cab, select different engines here, actually. That was nice old gauge engine. And this, my brand new railjet, Rocco, will run it right here, right now. Okay, here I go. Since we official Rocco dealers uh, since... Uh, uh, August of 2013 I got some stuff for Christmas actually I sold out to uh, new Z21 uh, command station and this is my um, sort of kind of Christmas present but it's just available at, at uh, right now uh, great Rocco uh, railjet brand new with um, uh, Zemo sound decoder okay so I already select that engine I hope you you guys not gonna see a lot of reflection okay address 3 I didn't change it if this seeds blinking a little bit here it's selecting what's the speed steps okay so what I'm doing turning the sound lights If you not see that green um, thing, those guys here and here, that means it's momentarily function. Just one touch, and again, my my um, skin is dry. Winter, of course. Couplers. Yep, you need a little bit hold it. Some sound, I, I, need to, I need to play with it more. This is actually turn it off sound, okay? Momentarily, again, see, there is no uh, green button when I'm pressing this. That means momentarily function. Okay, let me just run it real quick. Changing directions. Beautiful engine. I'm very happy. Thanks for watching, supporting business. If any questions, if it's maybe a little bit complicated, uh, I'll try to help you guys to set it up. Uh, maybe different videos, but I think it's... Uh, 
very easy to understand, I hope. Thanks for watching and supporting business. Have a good one. Bye.